because of the position you play, um, people compare you to Devin Bush Jr. How do you handle those expectations? Uh, you know, I handle them well. I mean, I'll say this, like, last year, playing with a guy like D. Bush, that dude, one of the best players I've ever been around. So learning from him, you know, him kind of passing the torch into this year for me, it's been a big deal. So I'm ready to go. But what gives you confidence that you're ready to go? What's that thought for you? Just, I mean, the day-to-day, -day, working every day, getting comfortable with my teammates and becoming a better leader myself just for the guys that, you know, want a defense <laughs> playing. So it's a big deal with all that. So it's been good. A lot of people expect to step back given the personnel you lost. Why do you think you guys can maintain that standard? Oh, because – one of the one of the biggest things is we just been playing with like we've been around each other for three four years. I mean, all of us guys know each other. We know how we play, and it's it's just no just not gonna be no drop off. We got great guys. You got Quiddy Pay, Lavert Hill, D Gill, um, myself. Just guys on the defense where we're gonna we gonna come get it no matter what. So you know what I mean. Your name's been brought up by quite a few people as a as a leader. What's your what's your leadership skills like? What do you what's your your method? Yeah, my my method. Um, one of my main methods is just being positive all the time. You know, every time we take the field, no matter if it's you know we we have a great possession, great great possession or a bad possession, always staying positive and being even killed. Does your approach change now that you're Mike and instead of playing mostly Will? Um, I wouldn't say change. Just I would say it's just a little bit different. You know, the Will is kind of more. Uh, it, you don't have to be as vocal as you do when you play Mike. So I just, being more vocal, um, you know, I kind of, I played two, like I played Mike and Will, so I kind of knew what Mike was about before. So it didn't really change for me, no. Does Mike require a, a greater understanding of the system or? Um, a little bit. I mean, just more communication. You know, you're out there making the calls, uh, getting everybody lined up. And, you know, something goes wrong, it's kind of on you, you know, because you're out there kind of directing everything. Obviously, people are familiar with your predecessor, but now that you're at Mike, what do you, how would you describe your game to, to people but haven't seen you play there yet? Yeah, I'm, I would say I'm a guy that's never going to stop. Never going to stop. I'm always going to push. I'm, I'm, I got a high, I'm a high motor guy. I'm a big hitter, and I'm always going to get to the ball no matter what. Is that kind of like Khalid Hudson? Would you kind of classify him the same way? Khalid, that dude, <laughs> Khalid is special. I mean, he's just, you, you rarely see athletes like Khalid, a guy that's, you know, as strong as he is, as fast as he is, as quick as he is. I mean, it's kind of crazy to see. So Khalid is just one of those special athletes that you can get every once in a while. How the running backs look at, what about specifically Charbonnet? Yeah. Oh, I was just about to bring him up. He's been looking really good. Uh, He's definitely uh, been been excelling, playing really well, fast, uh, learning his plays really good, and he's been he's been impacting that offense a little bit. And the other guys, Christian and uh, yeah, CT and and, uh, and True, they've been all the backs been looking really really good, um, playing really really well, and I'm ready to see what they do on, uh, in game day. So you love to tackle them? Uh, <laughs> <In> practice? <laughs> yeah, I mean sometimes we got live periods, sometimes yeah. we don't. But I mean if it's live, they they're going down no matter what. That's how it goes. <laughs> Is he hard to tackle, Charbonnet? Uh, he... Charbonnet, yeah, he's pretty hard to tackle. Yeah. He's just a bigger, more, you know, stoutier type back. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, still a freshman, still learning, still mm -hmm. growing, but he's going to be a heck of a player. What are your thoughts on the other corner position from Levert and how that's played out? Yeah, so you're saying you're talking about just Levert or you talking other, about the other level? side? Other side, so yeah. Vince, Vince and Ambry. So uh, Vince has been playing really well. I mean, just, just to see his progression – uh, from last year to this year, it's been magnificent. I mean, learning everything, on everything, batting balls down all the time. And then now we just got Ambry back in the fold uh, probably like a, like a week ago, and he's been getting back in things, and he's topped in real well. And he, everybody knows how good a player Ambry is. He's just getting back in his groove. How does he look? I mean, does he look 100%, he look, yeah. 90%? Yeah, he looks really good. He looks really good. He's moving around really well, and it was so unfortunate that that had to happen to him with uh, his stomach and everything. It had to be out for so long, but he's back full go and he's ready to go. Jordan was just here saying the defense will be scary, but so the offense will be scary as yeah. well to match oh, you guys. Yeah. How how does it look and how has it evolved from the spring? First yeah, I mean, our offense is just one of those high-paced offenses that's going to go get it. I mean, you got so many weapons on the field. Every receiver is ridiculous. Our whole old line is ridiculous. Like, quarterback is great. So this offense will definitely take a lot of steps forward from last year. How they tested you? They test us a lot every day. I mean, we playing against, you know, guys that's up-tempo, guys that's threatening us deep, you know, all these type of things. And it, it tests us every single day. And it makes us better as well as us making them better. How much does that up-tempo and the speed and space and you know, all that kind of stuff, how much does that help prepare you for some of those games where 
you go up against some of those speedier athletes? Help, help prepares us a lot. I mean, when you when you got an offense uh, that that's that up tempo, it just kind of innately picks up that win. You have that win when you you know you kind of know how it operates when you're going against a team that's kind of no huddle and all that type of stuff. So it helps a lot. Which freshmen have stood out to you? Uh, any freshman? Yeah. Uh, I would say DJ Turner and Dex. They they probably stood out the most. Uh, specifically DJ. He's he's been really playing well. Um, just coming in like it's so tough because and I was in the same position. Just coming in, having to go through the bridge program, coming in the summer, and you got to do school at, in the first two weeks of camp, going to class, and uh, to see those guys, especially Dex and DJ, kind of. Hit, find that light so early and plan so well. It's crazy to see because that's hard to do. Mm, so that, you know, when you are one of those guys that like has to go to class the first two weeks of camp, how do you balance that? Yeah, so like it's like like I said, it's uh. So you got freshman year, you you either early enrolled or you coming in the summer. In the summer, uh, some of the, the freshmen that go through uh, bridge program and it's tough. Like you just coming into college, you kind of getting act, like activated in college, and then you got to do school on top of being in your first camp ever. So it's a, it's, it's a tough deal. That's why the guys that, that come out and perform early, like it's like, wow, they, they're gonna be special. Do you think it helped you that, that you had done Summer Bridge like once you were, you know, full-time playing season while you were obviously a student as well? Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, I, I, I would say it helped maybe, I don't know. It was tough, it was tough. It was my freshman year, so it was hard to go through, but you know, made it through and new wave of guys come in every year and do the same thing and, and grow from it, so. Judge defensively, schematically, I know Don changes some things up every year. Has he changed more up this offseason maybe compared to previous years? Yeah, I mean, he changed a little bit up, but we're still going to stay true to our Demian. That's aggressive defense and going to hit you every play, going to be on everything, going to be batting balls down, contesting every ball. So we never lose our identity, but we change a few things up, but always going to be the same defense. Do you guys ever talk about those last two games last year, Ohio State in the bowl game? Um. We, yeah, we talk, we talk about them all the time, Still? especially, yeah. I mean, never going to forget those games until we go back and get them games. And this season is kind of built, like, for those games and, and kind of getting our revenge for those types of games. I mean, it was a tough situation that we went through losing last two games. We won those games. We potentially could be in the playoffs. So, tough deal. But, I mean, you grow from it, you learn from it, and you, you don't look back. You only go forward, and that's what we've been doing. So, how do you build – toward that? How do you build toward avenging those? Yeah, I mean, you always have those games in the back of your head. You always have uh, Ohio State, like, game, well, just really Ohio State, for real. You're going to always have that game on your head. Like, we doing this every single day to beat them. Like, at the end of the day, that's what we're doing this for. We're doing this to beat them. And that's, like, one thing we've been, like, kind of speaking a lot of this camp and going to season. Kind of in that similar... Kind of in that similar vein, you know, that a lot of their fan reaction has been the idea that you, you know, you would have been able to stop them if you switched to a zone. What, you know, you but you said you'd want to keep that same aggressive. Yeah. Why, why do you keep that same aggressive? First off, like we don't listen to no outside noise. Like fans and people on the outside don't know what's going on on the inside at all. They don't know what's what we go through every single day. So like thinking about them is irrelevant. It's about us. And of course, like we could have made some changes in the game. Uh, we could have did better things ourselves, like as players in the game. But at the end of the day, you can't look back. You got to go forward. And we lost that game, but we've been work we working every single day to get that back. How fast has Dax gotten integrated into things? Yeah, he's gotten integrated real fast. Uh, like I was saying, like how tough it is coming in in the summer, uh, going to school and all that. But one biggest thing is with him, and that's it's obvious how great an athlete he is. That dude is so fast. <laughs> And his makeup speed to everything is ridiculous. So, like, he's going to be a really good player. Someone with his kind of speed, obviously at a different position than Devin, but, I mean, is he able to kind of do some of those things just in terms of – What you mean? Just in terms of getting from side to side and, and filling up or yeah. making up for, for mistakes or things like that. that yeah. Was able to do. I mean, yeah, like, you saying, like, speed, like, making yeah. up for your mistakes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And when you athlete, it makes up for a lot of – like, when you fast, it makes up for a lot of things. Uh, but, like I said, Dax – Want to be a great player? He's came out real strong, and that dude' it, athleticism is ridiculous. So. Did, did Devin leave you his parting message before he left? Um, you said what? You said that one more time. Yeah. Did, did Devin Bush leave you with a parting message before he left? Just about taking over in life. Like he passing the torch. Like it's my time now. It's my time to go get it. It's my time to to lead the defense and kind of like you know it's my time to take the torch. That's kind of what he passed to me. Anything else for Josh? When did you feel ready to accept that torch? Oh, yeah, for sure. When? When did you feel that way? 
I mean, the day to the season ended last year. The yeah, day, yeah. I mean, it's it's time. It's time to go get it. It's time to transition into the new year, and it's it's time to be a bigger leader than I have been before. So I'm definitely ready. You enjoy watching him in the preseason? Oh yeah, I actually was uh, <laughs> last night. I was watching his film. I was on the on the uh, iPad. I was watching some of the Steelers' film. He was balling. So that dude was going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.